uh, right. I, had a, I had a car wreck uh, August of 2020, which is right after kind of the kind of the COVID thing had started, you know, and, and I really thought maybe it was a good time of a horrible car accident, you know, to maybe, you know, it being a good time because I, you know, wrestling really dipped down with COVID and all that. So I thought, well, I take this time to get better and then I'll come out and come out of COVID and be ready to roll. Well, it didn't quite go so great because COVID, you know, was a horrible time to be doing anything, especially in the medical world. And it just was, it just was horrible. I was in the hospital for seven weeks wow. Um, wow. and I had 21 knee surgeries in that seven weeks. Wow. So every oh. third, yeah, every third day uh, they had a surgery on my knee and and out of all that, it came to where it still wasn't doing good. It was it like the I, I got staff and it just kept getting worse and worse. So the actual surgery they did to rebuild my knee didn't go so good. So I, you know, enter Mark Bagwell and enter self-medicating myself because I was just so depressed. And yeah. you know, the, all the stuff that comes with it, it, you don't think it does, but it just does sure. with isolation and you know, yep. depression. And yeah. for the first time in my life, I couldn't fix it. And, mm -hmm. and that just don't work for Mark Bagwell. I, I fix it, you know, yeah. and, and I couldn't fix it. So yeah. Medicaid was fixing it to me and sure. I did so. And I knew how to do that pretty good. And yeah. so I started doing it, you know, on a professional level of medication and, yeah. uh, Dallas, Dallas Page stepped in and said, look, bro, you got to you got to kick out here, man. You got to, you know, your knees never going to get better until we get yeah. you better. And yeah. uh, so they kind of did like, a, um, you know, intervention type thing with me. And, and I think they were I think they thought I was going to really, you know, kind of fight them on it. But, man, I was like, I'm ready. I mean, I was tired and ready, you know, to yes, go. Sir. It was right coming right off that show we just shot called Change or Die. So I yeah. went into that show called Change or Die with Dallas uh, that he was doing, and it was me and Butterbean and yeah. uh, 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 the three other people that were no celebrities, but they were you know people trying to change their lives or die. Did um, Butterbean but, have a substance issue? A little bit substance, but okay. he had two. I mean, he was he was so bad he, he couldn't even stand up straight. He was leaned over and crutches. Right. And he, he ended up having two hip replacements. And, yeah, but everybody was pretty much diet. Um, I, I went in there at 275. Whoa, wow, and, wow. and I keep mine. I was, I, I'm a two in my wrestling days. I was, I was shredded, but I was, oh, yeah, 230. Yeah, 270. Wow, I was fat yeah. as a hog, and I, and I didn't yeah. know you could get fat from drinking, but I did. And, yeah. uh, and so I, I lost 30 pounds in two weeks. Wow, good for just you, by man. just cutting my carbs out and quitting drinking. And then yeah. and the show kept shooting. Then I relapsed in the show. So yeah. all sent me to uh, a black bear recovery and uh, which led to my aftercare, which was Tangu, And then, which is right here in Marietta. And then that equals five months um, uh, sober. And that's, everything's going really great. Well, that's congratulations, awesome. man. I, I celebrate that. Um, there, there has been, um, some addiction issues in my family and, uh, you know, so I can, I can certainly relate. Um, and, uh, just good to see you get sober and be excited about it now. You know, that's fantastic. And, and you bring up Dallas. Um, I swear the man, I, is he like an angel? Because to see the generosity that that comes off of that man, and like, you know, it's it, even down to the the way that like he offered his um, DDP yoga program to every wrestler. Like, I mean, these are people he doesn't even know. But I I don't know, man. He's just he is uh, such a exceptional and and uh, special human being. He really is. And you ask a minute ago, is he an angel? You know, it's, 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 it's exactly like that. I mean, anybody sure that is. sees, anybody that sees that video of Arthur, sure. the DDPY thing, and you sure. don't believe in DDPY, I don't care what you think or have been told or anything. All you got to do is look up 
go on DDPY and look up that Arthur video. Yeah. And you will change everything you ever thought yeah. or knew about Diamond Dallas Page. It's yeah. just, it's unbelievable what he has tapped into and he saves lives. Jake really Roberts does. was a strung yeah. out drug addict. Yeah. And he is eight years sober and feeling better than he's ever felt in his life. And he looks like a million dollars. And yeah. no, everybody thought Dallas was crazy to mess with Jake. And yeah. everybody thought Dallas was crazy to mess with Marcus Bagwell. But, yeah. you know, he's just, he's just, he's just he's something, he's got some kind of magic with him. And the magic, I really believe, is, is I, I want to say it sounds corny, but it don't. His magic is love. I mean, yeah. it's love. He, yeah, it's real. they want to see people survive and make it. And, yeah. and that's what people do that are around them.